one of the craziest set of arms we've seen in the world of bodybuilding. These arms want another level. Nothing like it. One of a kind. Mass. Shape. Vascularity. These arms have it all. Measurements that'll blow anyone out the water pound for pound. You want big arms, a pair of huge, veiny, triumphant guns that'll leave a mark. Build your arms so big that they will fill out your sleeves. The best combination of biceps, triceps, and forearms. You're looking at one of the craziest, most insane, and best arms in the history of bodybuilding. Still warming up here. 20 sets for buys and tries. Running low, I'm a beast in the Please do not get to not get to Please do not Take me lightly Cause I'm gon' make it Pay the price, yeah I don't listen Cause talk is cheap But keep on going I'ma make you pay the price, yeah No one could ever blow your mind like Lee Priest looked. I walked in the gym and I remember like looking at him and saying, how is that even possible? He was massive. chasing the side but the only thing they got bigger was their stomachs or wherever they put the oil in their body so it wasn't like their overall appearance got much better even though they weighed more they didn't look any better for it. I just train for me and whatever my body can do that's what it would do so I'm not trying to not trying to match somebody else's shape or symmetry or size it's just you know just trying to match whatever I had last time.
next time if someone asks me a question like, Lee, what's it like to compete with those big guys? Use the word tall, not big. Because really those guys are six foot and their measurements are the same as mine, five, four and a half. That makes them the small guys. As long as you gradually build up and keep adding weight, the muscles will grow, but just our bodybuilding is a long-term sport. People want to get into bodybuilding and they want to you know, get fair and sort of time in training, six months, eight months, nothing's happening, what, what am I doing wrong? But our bodybuilding takes years, so it's one of those things we're going to stick at it, stick with it. You know, some years, some months, you might not see anything change, your weights might not change, your body weight might not change, but then you just keep persevering. Next month, we'll probably kick off again. It's one of those things, just give it time and you know, it, it will happen.